four-game homestand. Uh, do you guys discuss in the locker room among yourselves, hey, let's not wait till the end of the season to get a string going, let's do it now? And do you look at this as the great opportunity with the four-game homestand? Yeah, I think, uh, um, you know, obviously we're in a tight race right now to make the playoffs. And uh, I think we have a game in hand on a few teams. And, you know, Hamilton's, you know, right below us. And so, we, you know, we, we just try to take it game by game and, um, you know, four-game segments and, and try to pick up, you know, six out of eight points or five out of eight points. Just, uh, um, you know, they add up. And, and when it comes March and, and April, the, the, those points are huge. So, um, you know, it's, not, it's nice to be at home, but we just try to take it game by game. Like I said, they're hunting you down. They're only a few points back. How big is tonight's game to try and create a little separation? Then? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, we, we have, like I said, we have a few, uh, few games in hand. So, um, you know, being able to, um, you know, get a few points tonight and, and you know, move up in the standings and, and separate ourselves would be huge. Uh, Coach said you played maybe your best game against Utica. And you still have like a slow start, but you're starting to get some momentum and the game's picking up. But can you talk about your progress this year? And did the NHL maybe, what was your opinion of it coming in and how has it, how yeah. is it now? Yeah, you know, I think I started off obviously pretty slow and, um, you know, just trying to, to feel my way around. And um, obviously I didn't contribute as much offensively as I would have liked in the beginning of the year. Um, but, you know, I think, uh, um, you know, getting sent down to, to Toledo, I think, did, a, did a, a lot for me, and I came back with a lot of confidence. And um, you know, I think confidence is huge, whether whether you're in the AHL or the NHL, wherever you are. I think confidence is is huge, and, and when you have the um, you know the confidence and the, and the mindset that, that you can play well and you belong, I think it goes a long way. So um, you know, just just being able to, to contribute offensively and help the team has has been a, um, has been a thrill for me. It's not like we have a ton of veterans on this team, but has there been a guy who, you know, when you were going through that scoreless streak, somebody who, you know, kind of helped Jazza hang in there, it's going to come, that kind of thing? Has there been somebody like that for you? You know, I think all of our, all of our older guys have, have done a great job. And I think, um, you know, the organization in Chicago, you know, brings in older guys. And, um, you know, those guys are here for a reason, whether it's Wade Brookbank or, um, or Winchester or uh, Nightingale. I think they're here for a reason because, you know, they've been around, they've been through it. And, um, you know, they're here to help the young guys. And so um, all three of those guys have been instrumental in, um, you know, keeping us on the right track and making sure that, that you know, I, I don't know, we, we have 12 rookies making sure that, um, that we're all in the right, you know, right spot and doing the right things because, you know, they went through it and, you know, they understand how hard it is to, uh, to be a young guy in this league. So um, having those guys around has, has been, you know, really great for the young guys. How do you like morning skates today of a game? I love them. I, uh, I think it's some guys don't like them. I, uh, I think it's great to get out of bed and, and get a sweat and um, you know get loose. I think you feel so much better after you get off the ice. And uh, obviously in the morning you're a little slow and you don't want to get dressed, but as soon as you get off the ice you feel a million times better. So uh, I'm a huge fan of them.